Hello, my name is Fox, and you're watching Den of Fools. Let's jump right in. The Iberian Open Talavera took place in Pepino, Spain, from the 17th to the 19th of March 2023. The tournament had five rounds with 85 players and 425 games played. Taroxa El Rojo won the tournament with their Thousand Sons. Alvara Enciso and then Astro Militarum came second, with Miguel Keco also running guard in third. Big congratulations to all these players, and apologies for any poor pronunciation of their names. We've added a list of the top three at the tournament. The winner took a Thousand Sons list with some Zinch Demons in support. The main Zarks of Women Detachment with Cult of Duplicity, which used troops as its compulsory slot. Iron Man himself was the Warlord. He took Presage, Weaver of Fate, and Temporal Surge for Psychic Powers. He is backed up by an Assaulted Sorcerer with the Rahati Upgrade. They are on a Disc of Zeech, with Firestorm and Dubalt as their Psychic Powers. He also takes the Athenian Scrolls, Sorcerer's Arcana. Finally, for the HQ slot, there is an Infernal Master, with Glamour of Zeech, Glimpse of Eternity, and Malefic Maelstrom. They also have the Orrery Sorcerer's Arcana, and the Master Misinformator, Warlord Trait. In the troop slot, there are four five-man squads of Rumit Marines with Warp Flamers. All units take an Icon of Flame, and the powers for each aspiring Sorcerer are on screen. Next, we have a Relic of Tempted Dreadnought with Twin Volkite Culverins, and a 10-man squad of Scarab Occult Terminators. The squad has two Hellfire Missile Racks, and two Soul Reaper Cannons. The Sorcerer has the Rite of Coalescence Upgrade, with the Empiric Guidance Psychic Power. In Fast Attack, we have a unit of five Chaos Spawn, and a single Spawn on its own. For the Zinch allies, there is a Fate Skimmer with the Staff of Change and a Retinue of Horrors. It takes the Bolt of Change and Infernal Gateway for Psychic Powers. There is a 10-man unit of Blue Horrors, a unit of two Flamers and a Pyrocaster, and a free strong squad of Screamers. The second place Astro Militar Amelis took Fast Attack as their compulsory slot, with a patrol of Sions in support. Lord Sol of Leontis is the Warlord with his Grand Strategist trait. There is a Death Corps Marshal in support with the Master Tactician Warlord trait. Finally in the HQ slots we have a Tank Commander with the Armored Tracks and Steel Commissar upgrades. It also takes the Relic Battle Cannon the Gatekeeper. In the Elite slot we have three squads of Kazakin. We see a lot of similar war gear across all the squads. They all have a Vox Caster, a Chainsaw on the Sergeant, two Hotshot Polyguns, and a Hotshot Marksman. The key difference is the first one has a Barbican's Key Relic and the Veteran Gorillas for the Kazakin combo. The other two units have two Plasma Guns, with one taking heirloom weapons and the other with Recon Operators. As a Katachan fan myself, it's great to see Sly Marbo included in the army. For the fast attack choice, there are two five horse squads of Attila and Rough Riders, with the Sergeant taking Goad Lancers and Power Sabers, and the rest taking Hunting Lancers. There is a unit of three Scout Sentinels with Plasma Cannons and Chain Swords, with two single Sentinels with Plasma Cannons. For the heavy support, there are two three man mortar teams and a unit of three Lehman Rust Battle Tanks. The Russes all have Dozer Blades, Armor Tracks, and Execution of Plasma Cannons. The Sion Patrol has one command squad with the finale of Nemradesh Relic, the squad has a Regimental Standard, Medipack, Plasma Gun, and Master Vox. There are two 5 man units of Sions with the same loadout, the Tempesta has a Plasma Pistol and Power Sword, with a Melter Gun, Plasma Gun, and a Vox Caster. The third place Astro Militarum list has some similar HQ choices, with Leontis and the Tank Commander taken in nearly the exact same way. In addition, there are two Cadian Command Squads, with one of them taking the finale of Nemradesh Relic and the Master Tactician Warlord trait. Both squads have a Commander with a Power Sword, a standard, plasma gun, and master vox. In the troop section, we see four squads of 10 Cadian shock troops, with each taking a metal gun, plasma gun, and a vox caster. We see an identical Kazakhin squad to the second place list, presumably for the same combo. The other squad is a bit different, swapping the hotshot volley guns for melters. There is a five man squad of Sions with a vox caster, melter, and plasma gun. We similarly see two scout sentinels, both with the plasma cannons and one with the chainsword. In heavy support, we have three three man mortar teams with a two tank squad of Lehman Ross. They are armed with heavy flamers, armor tracks, and execution of plasma cannons. Last but certainly not least in heavy support, we have a Rogal Dawn battle tank. It's equipped with armored tracks and Knight of Piety. It takes the pulverizer cannon, oppressor cannon, coaxial auto cannons, two melter guns, and two multi melters. Finally, we see a Torox transport. Unsurprisingly, the Space Marines are the most played faction with 16.47% of all players taking them. Chaos Knights are in second with 9.41% followed by Chaos Demons in 3rd on 8.24%. It takes our resident stat guru and Ultramarine fanboy Phyllis Fox many hours to collect all the data. It would be great if you could show your appreciation by liking the video, it really helps us with the god algorithm of YouTube. We have grouped the win rates by colour, with the key at the bottom of the screen. The single Thousand Suns player who won the tournament tops the win rates with 85.7%. The second and third place finisher, the Astro Militarum come next, with a win rate of 70%. The blue group is ran out by the three Orca Botan players, who get a winner of 66.7 and 60% respectively. 
the most popular faction of the Space Marines topped the green group with a win rate of 57.7%. The Eldari come next on 55%, followed by Necrons on 53.3%, and Drukhari on a 50% win rate. There are six factions in yellow, with the third most popular faction in Chaos Demons top of the red group. They get a win rate of 37.1%. This is somewhat surprising, given as they have the best win rate in ARC so far. The second most popular faction, Chaos Knights, get a win rate of 35.1%. There was only one known legion with a single Emperor's Children player getting a win rate of 20%. The most popular chapter, the Dark Angels lead the way for the Loyalists, achieved an impressive win rate of 73.1%. The joint second most popular chapter, the Iron Hands, and the Black Templars come next, both getting a win rate of 60%. The other joint second most popular, the Blood Angels, are the only chapter in green with a win rate of 53.3%. The single Raven Guard player tops the red group with a win rate of 20%. If you enjoyed our content, please subscribe, check out one of the videos on screen, and consider using our affiliate links in the description. Thank you for watching.